on today's episode of Huber Syndrome, it's Resident Evil 2 again with Brad Ellis. We're getting his thoughts. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to the show. I want to take this time, Brad, to not only talk about Resident Evil 2 Remake, mm -hmm. but just talk about Resident Evil as a whole because it's my favorite game of all time. You're my best friend. Wait, so RE2 is your favorite game of all time? Yes. Okay. I meant to say my favorite franchise. Oh, okay. So it's my favorite franchise of all time. You're my best friend, and the two just go hand in hand. So I want your, to kick things off, your earliest memory of Resident Evil. Sure. Uh, so before RE2 was coming out originally on the PlayStation, I remember being like, oh, this looks cool. I'm like, oh, there's a first one. I haven't seen it before, but I never really like put in like the effort to see actually what it was. Yeah. Went to a place that uh, that was by me and Mike where we lived growing up called Warehouse Video. Nice, <laughs> dude. Warehouse. And I rented Resident Evil 1 on the PS1. Yeah. Like back in the day when you rent something there, you get it for like a day, <laughs> yeah. I think, or something yeah. like that. It was like a day you yeah. had it. Uh, I went home. Oh. This was when Matt still kind of played video games to my brother. Okay. We pop in RE1, get immediately freaked out. Immediately. <laughs> yeah. Immediately. So we, the only we make it. The cutscene is insane. We make it to the cutscene with Kenneth getting eaten, I remember. Okay. And the zombie just like <laughs> does the turn back. Yeah. And it was it was like a nightmare at that time. Like it looks very comical now, but at the yeah. time it was crazy. Cutting edge. Because we were we were probably like 10, yeah. I think you and me around the time, one or nine, something like that came yeah. out. So like, whoa, freaking yeah. out, dude. Yeah. I mean, we didn't know yeah. like really what survival horror was at the time either like that. So I just remember my brother was playing and he just goes, ah, and he goes, and he's like shooting the zombie and he's going, ba -ba 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 -ba, when he's fighting the zombie for some reason. And I don't know why we were doing so, like, that. Lighten the mood. Yeah, it was just so intense. We got mauled and just eat. And we were yeah. like, whoa, what happened? <laughs> Like what is this? Oh. This is the first enemy of the game, man. Yeah. Then we eventually like just like figured out, okay, let's run from this guy. We yeah. made it to the hallway. The dogs bust through the window. We're like, oh, I'm freaking out, stuff like that. <laughs> then I started like learning more about the franchise, especially when two came out from yeah. you later yeah. on. You're like, yo, Resident Evil, because uh, there was that neighbor by you that introduced Jacob. you to yep. Resident Evil. Yeah. Then you kind of like got me into more Resident Evil after that with two and stuff like that. And that's kind of where it all started. Nice. So right. I would say you helped strengthen my relationship with Resident Evil. Like you did with many a, a franchise. I think we've, it's like, the give and take. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty so, much. So Resident Evil 2 Remake, Brad. What? It, we've had some time to breathe now. Mm -hmm. You know, we are kind of out of the, uh, the the nuclear bomb of hype. Yeah. Things have kind of settled yeah, down. Yeah, the radiation's away. Gone yeah. away. <laughs> What's the first thing that just pops into your head now when you think about Resident Evil 2 Remake? What do you think about? What do you love about it? It's classy. <laughs> okay. it's, Resident Evil 2 Remake is a classy video Expl game. Explain that. It's very pristine and feels clean, high budget. High budget. Smell the money. And I feel the passion playing this game. Like, clearly, the people that made this game love Resident Evil. They love classic zombies. They love the feeling of horror and dread. And they just execute it so well. Yeah. So well, Huber. What do you, uh, when you think of, like, you know, we, you love Resident Evil, but where do you stand on horror as a genre? I like horror. I'm an expert by no means mm -hmm. whatsoever. I do like horror games every now and then. I like some, like, if there is, like, a, a horror game... I won't necessarily play it just because it's horror. If I hear things about them, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I'll check this out. Like PT, you're hype. PT, yeah. Like, yeah. I check out, like, some horror games. I like the survival horror games more so, like, Resident Evil compared to games Evil like... you're hyped. Yeah, compared to games like uh, Amnesia. I like Amnesia and stuff like that. But, like, games where I, could, I have a little more ability yeah. to handle myself, even though I have to be careful a lot, but I have a, just a little more something. Yeah. Like, being able to shoot some evil dude or something like that. It's yeah. always fun. Limited resources. Yeah, I love the limited resources. But yeah, I do like survival horror quite a bit. Yeah. So Resident Evil 2 Remake, Brad. Yeah, yeah. What was going through your head when you first saw Tyrant Mr. X? So let me give Walk you my history through. of Resident Evil 2 Remake briefly. Yeah. It was at A3. I saw the trailer with you guys. You guys got to play it. I didn't play it. Didn't watch any trailers. The demo comes out. Didn't play it. Excellent. 
kept in the dark. I remember you, because we and Hubert talked about what we wanted out of RE2 or RE3 in the future, like a remake or something like that. We were talking about, I think Nemesis, we were talking about how we wanted him to feel like a threat. Yeah. Like, because Nemesis in the old game, like, yeah, he's a threat, but you could, like, run away. Yeah. You could hide behind a door. Like, Mr. X in the original, you, just, you, you could just run out of the room. You're fine. It doesn't matter. And I remember you saying to me, Mr. X is the real, like, real deal or something yeah. like that. And that's all you said to me. I was like, oh, okay, whatever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, when I was playing the game, I honestly kind of just, like, forgot about Mr. X. I was playing as yeah. Claire. Yeah. I was playing as Claire, like, essentially A, and he's not in the original. Yeah. He's not in that. So I'm playing. You're playing for a couple, couple hours. hours. Go by. You know, you fight uh, Birkin one in the sewer and stuff like that. Then I like put out the fire with like the hose thing. Like that. I'm like, oh cool, cool, cool. I kind of know what I'm doing right this. And I just like turn around the corner, <laughs> and the he like <laughs> lifts the copter up, and all these emotions rush through my head really quickly: a <laughs> fear, dread, excitement. <laughs> because I forgot he was in the game at this point because I was just so oh, focused on everything that. else. I love that. And I was like. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. I shot him in the head like three times and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> he like punched me. Dude, and I was like punch. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And I ran away. I like, ran out of the room and I was outside like the outside part where you like pulled the hose, like it's raining. Yeah. I was out there, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm thinking real quick. Then he just goes, boom, bust through the door. He's out there going, doof, 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 doof. and I was like, oh shit, dude. I'm like, I gotta make a move fast. I gotta think right now, dude. Yeah. Then he just murdered me. And I was like, <laughs> Yes. Whoa! Yes. Whoa! I was just like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" Like, Mister X gave me a real sense of dread. Yeah. Like, even if I knew he was coming, I was not excited. This is amazing, Brad. Like, I want to go. In, I want to dip into one of your favorite franchises, okay. Souls. Mm-hmm. And you know, Souls and Soulsborn is is known for these incredible boss fights, mm-hmm. these white knuckle, mm-hmm. skinnier teeth, out of control boss fights. How did uh, how did like Birkin? How did, how, Birkin? how did Birkin make you feel the boss fight? Did you get any? Did you get the adrenaline rush that maybe a Souls game gives oh, you? Oh, um, kind of like a different feeling. Definitely yeah. a feeling of excitement and like, oh, I got like, I'm like, whoa, god, this is like intense. <laughs> yeah, because you know, I'm like, I was like at that point, like especially when you get to Birkin one, you're fighting mostly just a regular zombie. I think there's like one one liquor maybe you kind of yeah. deal with, but I just like. I knew that. You just walk by him. I read the yeah. note. I got yeah. it. Yeah. I knew that. I knew the drill. Stealth. Yeah, I knew the drill. Okay, but I fought Birkin, and I was like, okay, I was like, okay, let's go, dude. Then he yeah. gets the pipe, and he's going, yeah. no, no, no. it's like freaking so out. Epic, and I'm like, oh my god, and Claire's like freaking out too, and I was like, oh, <laughs> and he's like starts hitting the pipe around, <laughs> yeah, and like there's steam going off and stuff like that. I'm like, where the hell yeah. am I? I'm like looking for items, and like I go corner, and it's a dead end, and he's like. Going, just walking right to you, you're like, oh shit! And you're like, gotta try to dodge him or something like that. You yeah. get hit with the pipe. You're like, oh god! You're like, Why? yeah, you're like, oh god, stab him or yeah. something like that. Like crazy chaos feeling. <laughs> just pure I love panic. the chaos too of like you you know you need to hit the eyeball yeah. or hit his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're you're panicked. Yeah, you're, I'm panicking. I'm freaking out. I got a, I don't got a lot of time to think. He's stomping at me. He's going. Doof. You just hear footsteps behind you the whole time. I'm freaking out. Yeah, yeah. and when I finally beat him he's like and he like falls off the the banister or whatever yeah. the classic or whatever and yeah. i was like oh yeah. thank god yeah. i felt so relieved sick brad you're getting me hyped dude i need to play resident evil 2 right now yeah me too me too me too me too me too so last time we talked about uh you know you were going through the the original, the original yeah amazing uh what kind of were there any moments going through the remake that made you think of the original? Yeah, tons. Cause like like what were what were some of those moments? Well, first of all, I was just thinking of the RPD layout. Yeah, like immediately, immediately when you walk in, there's that door on the right mm-hmm. that's like not it's not there in the original game like that. Like yeah. just looking at the layout, I was like, whoa, where's the ladder in the middle? It's yeah. not there either. There's mm-hmm. just a staircase now and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like whoa, there's no puzzle like pushing like the statues early on in the game. Like the layout of the man or the uh, RPD. The RPD is is like it's familiar, but it's different. Yeah. Definitely in the layout, especially like the save rooms for a little bit. I felt like not safe. Yeah, even, yeah. like until I, I figured out that they couldn't come in there. Yeah, I was like nervous. Me like, too. Me too. Me too. 
Because when Mr. Like, wait, is it safe still? Like when I mean, Mr. X was yeah. like out after Chief Iron stuff, I was like hiding in Chief Iron's office. I was like thinking in my head, I'm like, okay, how am I gonna like get around this guy? I'm like, okay, maybe he'll walk away. Or maybe I can just like try to make a, a book it or something like yeah. that. When he's coming around. Then I found out he couldn't come in the, the safe room. I was like, oh, my God. Thank God. The dummy on Because he, like, does, like, I was, like, poking out, and he's right there, and he just goes, like, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. And he's, like, not <laughs> walk in. I was like, oh, I can't come in here. Thank yeah. God. Seriously. I wonder if they'll add a mode where, like, a nowhere is safe Nowhere is safe, yeah. Nowhere is safe. I'm in sure. I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, oh, uh, big notices I noticed with the game. Yes. The story. Yes. Okay, so That's my next question. The A and B scenario were different depending on who you played. They're pretty similar now. Yeah. So, like, Leon always fights Tyrant. Mm -hmm. Claire always fights, like, Birkin on the train. Like, yeah. oh, like they have their scenarios lined up pretty much like this is their story. Yeah. Like, Ada doesn't get slammed against the computer or something like that like she yeah. did originally. It's like she does the fall thing. I know so that they really stuck with like one storyline for each. Yeah. I was kind of sad because they took out some cutscenes there in the original game. Like we were talking about this, like the chopper pilot. Chopper pilot. Love the chopper like the pilot. Like the cops, the cops on the roof, yeah. like waving down the chopper pilot. And, and how, they get cool mauled. Would it, how cool would it have been too? Because you, you kind of hear the plane go by in the crash. Yeah. Don't even show a cutscene with the chopper pilot. Yeah. Just hear machine gun fire. Yeah. Like, when, like, and you go out and there's yeah. like the zombies eating the cops or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I wish they did like, Maybe they'll do DLC down the line where you're like, maybe you're Marvin or something, so you see stuff yeah. like this go down. But like, I was just like, oh. And they yeah. didn't show, like, I guess it was kind of cool because it really caught me off guard. They didn't show the pod dropping cutscenes like they did yeah. in the original one. So I had, like, I completely forgot about Mr. X. Keep him mysterious. I didn't think he was going to show up till the B campaign. Yeah. But he was there anyways. So that caught me off by surprise a lot. But I was just like, uh, like a few little cutscenes I could have gone with. Just yeah. a few little more. Okay. But I liked what they did with Annette. They're giving her, like... Loved it. Confused about, like, what her canon death is kind of mm -hmm. thing because she dies different ways in the remake. Yeah. Like, I like to think it's the Claire one kind of hers, her canon death. Because, mm -hmm. like, I think in the original you only saw her die necessarily as one. I can't remember. Yeah, Leon, same similar yeah. thing with uh, Ada. I, you know, she gets the one shot. And yeah, these are all like over. minor, minor nitpicks I'm talking about. I yeah. wish there was a scene where you ran into Claire at, at the police station, actually, like in the original one. Yeah, I really could have gone for one meetup like, between one, them. Because yeah, like one in the original more. one, you are you meet up with Leon and there's Sherry mm -hmm. there and there's Claire there and you're all kind of there for a second and yeah. they split off. Because uh, they never really run into each other except for that moment at the like beginning. Where the very beginning, yeah. yeah, at the very beginning, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Where you like either be, you have to run away when they wake up or you have to cut the bolts and stuff like that. Yeah. Just a few things like that, but I really love they fleshed out, I think, Annette a lot more, which I really liked. I got kind of a more, kind of like more of her headset going on through this whole thing. Totally, dude. Her guilt, her yeah. confusion, you know. It's I, her yeah. husband that she loves, exactly. but she's done a terrible thing. Uh, sure. I love the new, how they handled Sherry and Ada way more compared to the original one. Because mm -hmm. the original one, it was like the same exact area, pretty much. Yeah. You kind of do the same exact thing, except Sherry just doesn't have a gun. Yeah. But these are like completely different scenarios. Yeah. Like you're in the orphanage now, which is this whole different area that has yeah. this old backstory that's tied to Chief Irons, which is super cool. So sketchy. And you got Ada like going through the sewers chasing a net and stuff like that, and Tyrant's chasing you. And the sick like Batman gadget. Yeah, super cool. She says like it's super gadget time or something yeah. like that. Like I really loved all that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I was very happy with like a lot of the changes they made. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like how you said these games can kind of coexist because yeah. they're so. They're very similar, but they're so different at the same time. They both have strengths and weaknesses, I think, a lot. Yeah. So, like, I could play these games back-to-back -back and have, like, a different experience. That's music to my ears. Yeah. Good. Like, they're both really... It's like, it's listening to two Beatles songs. It's like, these are, like, these are great. These are great. I love these. They're just different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Totally. It's like listening to Rubber Soul and Revolver or something <laughs> like that. It's that kind of feeling. Yeah, because we were talking about Resident Evil 1, and it's like... Remake is just yeah. better in every way. So yeah. it's kind of hard to... Cause, well, because this is so much different than the original exactly. Resident Evil remake. Like, the yeah. you, the remake from one is, like, still, you know, isometric or, like, the fixed cameras yeah. and stuff like that. They just add a few things. It's, like, it feels a lot better. Like, I feel like they added a lot more that just makes it better. Yeah. I mean, I love to. I love to, the remake. Especially yeah. the gore factor, baby. Sucked. I'm a huge fan of that gore factor. It shot, like, a dude in, like, half, and he was crawling. And I was like, whoa. This is freaky. I really appreciated they took out 
the blood pool that would come out when you, you know. Oh yeah, you, you know, never know. You never know now. So like they yeah. kind of, I think they kind of do like when they're dead, kind of sometimes. Yeah, but, but even it's harder sometimes, to predict. Sometimes, yeah. Like I, like I found myself popping them a few extra confirm times. Confirm the kill. Maybe cut them with the knife. Yeah. Oh, really? Love, knife stabs. Really love the knife in this game. Yeah. Really appreciate because you know I love the the defense items the original game. Yes. This just took that idea and kind of ramped it up a bit more. Yeah. Having you could either stab a guy or you could like. Shape like yep. stab them like normally, or you could throw the grenade, or you could throw it in their mouth. If you're crazy like Damiani, you stun lock liquors. You could stun lock. Where's the knife? That was crazy. I didn't know you could do that when I saw Damiani. <laughs> yeah. I was like, whoa, dude. Yeah. Uh, did you like the liquors? Oh yeah. Did you think Freaky. they feel like a you threat? Think Resident Evil Two Remake did the liquors justice? Yeah, especially coming from. Do you remember them in Five? Yes. Like they were like not really a threat. The way the game handled them by making the threat, I feel like it's kind of like sheer numbers. Yeah. Liquors feel like a threat way more in this. One game. liquor in this. Way more because like, they could take a few. Like especially with the shotgun, they could take like three, yeah. four shots maybe. Because by the time they show up in Five, it's like you're you're, so you're loaded equipped. up. You're like you got like a full arsenal. Yeah. You're fine, dude. Yeah. I got like. Six rocket launchers at that point, or something. It feels like, like you're you're chilling. Don't worry about it. Chris Redfield, yeah, dude, he's been yeah. at it. Yeah, he's all juiced up, ready to go. Uh, DLC came Ooh. out. We played it. It was yeah. friggin' amazing. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, what do you want to see in 2019 for Resident Evil? Because we're definitely not done. 2019. Okay. What do you want to see next? I want to see. I really want to see Marvin. Yes, I would love to see because like. The, the Marvin, outbreak Marvin before RE2 starts. Yeah, the outbreak yes. is not necessarily just one night. Mm -hmm. It's like it's, it's it's like implied it's been going on for a little bit. Yep. And there's like they the the RPD became like a safe haven for people. People were coming there. I want to see people coming in, like the virus getting in there and breaking out. They talk about in the notes and something like that. Dude, the like slow uh, transformation of some of the cops yes. turning into zombies. Dude, like, give yeah. me that. So everyone's like. When you walk in the RPD, you could see like like cots or something like that. Just like you know, people have been like resting here or something like that. I want to see the night where someone just gets up, yeah, and like you're Marvin, you're asleep, and you just hear like people screaming. Yes, you're like freaking right. out. You're trying yes. to figure out what's going on. Some guy, some cops getting bit, yep. and he's trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Then he has to like make the first kill of shooting yeah. a cop, and shooting he, his buddy. He's dealing with that. Yeah, all the cops like figuring out how the hell do we get out of this place. They're looking for the map. Uh, I forgot the guy's name that gets, like, ripped in half at the beginning. Ben. Is his name Ben? Oh, no, that guy. Uh, yeah, I forget. Anyways, I would like to see, like, more of him going down, them trying to figure out figure out the clues of how to get out of here, the medallions, them kind of figuring out that whole scenario, yeah. and them writing in the book, then you coming back, back later getting that. It'd be and cool if you played as that guy, too, yeah. Yeah, it'd be awesome. I would really love just a fun mode where you play as Mr. X, too. Dude, yes. Like, safe head style. From Evil Within. Just like a cool... Because there's always weird, goofy modes where you could be tofu. I love tofu, by the way, in this game. It's awesome. The music is so cool, dude. <laughs> when you're tofu, it's awesome. Yeah, it's insane. Well, I just want to motor on Mr. X, just walking around, like, punching dudes, yeah. something like that. Mercenaries mode, Mr. X. Mr. X. I want... Uh, what about... Hear me out. This yeah. is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Co-op mode. A co-op mode? I would not be opposed to it. Do you think it would work? I mean, I'm, sure I'm just that. spitballing here, you know. We we had our 19 Resident Evil 5 playthroughs that I adore. It would be really interesting if they made it somehow. Mm -hmm. So, I think it'd be cool if they made it so you're both cops. Yeah. But let's say you're on opposite sides of the police station. Yeah. And the only way you have a radio, so you can communicate with your partner or something like that yeah. through voice chat or something, you know. Yeah. So they or like, like someone's even in the lab too. Someone's You're on the lab on. monitoring. Like you guys gotta like find each other, then you meet up and you gotta like, maybe do some puzzles together, I guess. Then you take you fight some big baddie at the end, and yeah. inevitably you both die. Yeah, that's what I would really like. And what about? Because I'm kind of just touching all the Resident Evils here. Mm -hmm. So what about VR? Or first it would person. Be VR a first person, first, mode. first person, yeah. I feel like the game's not designed to be first person, so I don't know if it worked that well. Mm. If they got it working and it worked like seven, I'd be yeah. all for it. Like, that'd be awesome. Yeah. I'd be really into that. But I don't know if that's necessarily a possibility with this. Think really hard before you answer this. Okay. Because you know I'm sensitive. Yes. Will there be fixed camera DLC? I think the most you would get is a brief section. Okay, I'll take it. I feel like... I'll take that. Uh, did... Lost in Nightmares Did type. they do that? That's yeah. what I'm thinking of? Yep. Maybe you'd get something like that. Okay. Maybe. All right. 
I feel like Marvin is like the like the best option. Marvin to do, maybe. DLC and Ada, of course. And Marvin Ada, yeah. and Ada would be just... Ada like arriving at Raccoon City yeah. and dealing with all of that. Maybe or it's getting more, out. Maybe a little Wesker hints going. You could on. do yeah. You could do both actually. Or her getting out. Yeah. You could do both. Her getting there and getting out. But then it'd be weird because she does meet up with, you know, yeah. Leon. So it'd be. I'm just thinking really logistically. I don't. I, would you have to replay then? I section? feel like would a lot of cut? the. Uh, the already DLC or like the extra stuff is like getting out of the lab with yeah. who you play as like your hunk, you're getting out of the sewer, mm-hmm. your tofu, you're getting out of the sewer. Like I don't want that same sense of like, I got to get out of here really fast. So I would really like to take my time and just kind of explore it yes. more. So I love the remake. I wish there's a little more of the city, yep. a little more outside. I really wanted that. They change it at the beginning. The beginning is way short in the original, but they kind of reintroduce it. Later on, you like go through the basketball courts and the bus, yeah, like the classic bus and all that stuff, which is really cool. I just wish there was a little more in the city, just a little yeah. more. I could have really gone for a little more. Yeah, really love bit. the Kendo stuff though. God, yes. Really love Kendo instead of just yeah. being the dude getting mauled at the beginning. Yeah, they gave him like a little more story and a motivation for what he's doing, which mm-hmm. is really cool. Yeah, wish he had the bow gun though. I know, dude. No bow gun. Get, bow gun DLC. Add that DLC. Yeah. In uh, Mercenaries mode. Yeah. Uh, there was one last thing I did want to talk about. Sure. Uh, puzzles. Yeah. These were some of my favorite puzzles ever in a Resident Evil game. Okay. Did you feel the same way, Brad? Did, were, were they just fine for you? Did um, you really think like... Let me when think you about the them, puzzles necessarily. Just all the little locks, all the three kind locks. I like locks, the idea of finding codes. Safes. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, I think the... Uh, some riddles like the the plugs. Yeah, the the plugs is okay. I like the the chess one. Yeah, I do like mm-hmm. that one. I think the uh, when you need to get like the uh, the garage card key or something like that. If you're Leon or Claire, you gotta you place the blocks or whatever yeah, to yeah, line up yeah. the fuse. That's interesting. Uh, the lab one's okay. I think the mixing in the lab is very classic Resident Evil to me, though. Just, something like that. It's, it's okay. It's so classic, and it's the only one that bothers me because yeah. I'm always just yeah. like it's okay. guessing, dude. I'm I know the like, com- ah. I like I know the combination for A, so it's not that bad. But it's like I'm like okay, yeah, all right. It's okay. It's yeah. okay. Uh, I do like the puzzles a lot. There wasn't. I was so shocked there wasn't one. You're just like pushing a statue. Yeah. None. Or a box. Or a box. I no cannot pushing. I believe like I did crazy. not push a box. No pushing boxes, no pushing <laughs> statues, none of that. It's crazy. Ada's DLC, dude. She's going to push a box. She's like, give, give me a, kept give you me waiting, a huh? Give me a box. Yeah, let me push a box. <laughs> All right, we got comments from Ooh, last episode. Brian. Okay. You get to join me on this All one. Right, last let's do week it. was Battle Royales. The uh, first question is actually for me. It's okay. a Persian Prince 12. Where's the green screen? Probably coming. I just I've I've really enjoyed the uh, the industrial <laughs> I think vibe. The beauty of Huber syndrome, and I think like you can just do whatever you want. Like Changes if you're feeling wing. like whatever you're talking about, and you want the green screen, you can do it. Don yeah. will make it happen. Yeah. It'll work. Let me know though if you really miss the green screen. Yeah, you know. I think if you have like multiple people on here, it might be easier. I don't know if we have a like, unless we have like a huge green screen where we have like RPD behind us. That'd be hype as hell. That but would I don't know. Be hype. We'll see. Okay. Solar Core. Okay. You think Apex Legends map is less interesting than Fortnite's? With all the great choke points, <clears throat> lore, and elevation, I gotta completely disagree there. I think Fortnite's map is pretty dull mm, in comparison. Okay. Huge comment. But uh, what do you think about the Apex Legends compared to Fortnite's map? Not a battle royale expert. Have not put a ton of time on these games. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna give you my opinion for what I've been just hanging out in this world less than 20 hours in each yeah oh yeah Yeah. uh i will say i like the fortnite map more Mm -hmm. because everything feels more interesting to me like i want to go see what that is like not necessarily from a gameplay design standpoint where you're talking about like choke points like that's all really cool i really like that but from my perspective someone who's not a huge like expert on this series i don't think about these games in the depth a lot of people do because I just don't mm-hmm. play them that much. Yeah. With Fortnite, I'm like, this is a cool area. I just want to yeah. explore this area. It's yeah. awesome. Uh, Apex Legends, I'm like, eh, it looks okay. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll check that out. I mean, it's like a little hut. Like, whatever. Okay. It looks yeah. fine. A lot of brown, a lot of cliffs. Yeah, Yeah. sure. Um, yeah, I totally get like crazy choke points and stuff, you know? Yeah. Fortnite doesn't really have... I mean, uh, like, sometimes I'll think tactically, like... I really like shifty shafts because I like to get down in there. It's very close quarters, 
and that takes kind of the advantage of mm-hmm. of professional builders away. Yeah. You know, they can still build and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, dude, I'm gonna try to if I have a choice kind of near the end, it's like, dude, I'm gonna try to make my last stand at shifty shafts because sure. shotguns. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or like tilted towers, obviously a lot of open buildings. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, I, I get that. Dude, a lot of people, yeah, a lot. Raw, you don't think King's Canyon is interesting? You're right in the head, Huber. A lot of people come into the defense of Apex Legends map, mm-hmm. which makes me want to go back because I have not played as much lately, especially. Yeah. I've been, been kind of waiting for the battle pass, to be honest. Oh, sure. Uh, that comes out in March for Apex. Um, but yeah, I think gut reaction, you know, played so much Fortnite, like you said, just like so much visual... It, it, everything's interesting it's visually, visually it to me it's more visually appealing yeah where apex maybe i think i just gotta dive a little deeper you know yes. Fortnite has a lot of yeah, yeah, uh, yeah like lights and sounds coming at you i have not seen a lot of the apex map yeah. i don't know i'm just saying from what i've seen yeah jc i've nearly played all the battle royale games but apex legends is definitely my favorite no building required also hoping halo infinite has some kind of spartan battle royale uh building brad yeah building is why I love Fortnite the most, and I'm terrible at it. I can barely build, but there's just something about it defensively, using it for exploration, Mm -hmm. and using it offensively that just resonates with me. It's like doing combos, you know? I played with Sancho West like a year ago now. We, We streamed when Fortnite was like getting big, and he was like, I was just like, teach me, what do I do? And he's mm-hmm. like, dude, building is like a combo. Think of like a fighting game. Mm-hmm. You're legitimately doing You're setting up, combos. Yeah. What do you think about building versus uh, hero style Overwatch characters in Apex? Um, I can't really choose because I like both. I think the hero abilities are interesting because mm-hmm. it changed because like, each game is designed around that element. Yeah, I'm not as good at building it. Like, I would really love from what I remember Fortnite when I played it. There was no way for me to just learn how to build kind of thing like that. I was always like in the in the game, I'm like trying to figure out like, okay, what does this do? I'm like, oh, you can make a hole in this? I'm like I'm just trying to figure out all that. But when I would get something, like I built something pretty decently for me, it felt good. I was like, oh, that was cool. Like I'm just building a bridge, crossing thing. That's all really cool. But I think Apex is also really great in its mobility. It's super fast. You got the slide, which I really love like that. And I think the hero is really cool. Yeah. I think I'm... I'm really glad they both have very different elements to them. Though. Yes, and isn't that exciting for the yeah. genre yeah. of battle royale? Dude? I totally how different these games can be. I totally hear a lot of people talking about how they don't like building, and I get yeah. that. I totally I get understand it. that. Hundred percent. Yeah, it. I yes. think, but I think Apex just has really good. It feels like a really good shooter. Yeah, you know, because it's respawn. Sorry if I got get, it's pronounced your name wrong. I really apologize. Shubankar Parajat. I just want a battle royale mode in Mario Kart. Is that so much to ask? I think we were joking about that at a point, but it could seriously happen. I don't think that's too much to ask. What would a Mario Kart Battle Royale look so we were talking like about, to you, Brad? Like in a, an example would be, so you're on a normal racetrack that you would <laughs> race in. As you're going, though, there is a like a firewall just slowly going around the track. And as the tracks go on, as you yeah. go around the track or like laps, the firewall eventually just starts going faster and faster so a firewall is like chasing you through a as race. you're racing like so if you get hit by a turtle shell and okay. you're by the fire it's going to come and just absorb you so it's not like the battle mode it's not like you're in like you could do that i'm just thinking of like yeah. a different like obviously you could do yeah. a huge like city or something like that you're just driving around yeah and you're throwing turtle shells and you got balloons like it yeah it could totally work i was just like thinking like a weird racing mode or something like that like yeah. going around the tracks and getting the yeah. items and setting people up like throwing a turtle shell behind you and watching them fall in the flame. That, that's like yeah. the flame lock. Think of it like the Death Star just <laughs> blowing up from like coming, the flames coming at you at all times. You're just trying to get around the track so you don't get absorbed by fire. I, I In my brain, I see the map. Yeah. And there's different courses mm-hmm. throughout Mario Kart history uh, scattered around and you're incentivized to post a time on a track sure so you can go anywhere you know it's traditional battle royale you know you're 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 launching your cart out of a plane or something Mm -hmm. you land and uh yeah there's there's just a bunch of courses and like going through a course and maybe finishing a lap Hmm. gets you something 
Like so, then, so then you can have like these races too that are going on where like people are going through time trial or like battling each other. But then there's also some exploration. That's interesting. Areas on the map maybe that are not a course maybe where you and can And they could explore. always do like not necessarily even like the Firewatch crazy idea, but like, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, you know, you could just racing around and eventually people in the last just start dropping out. Yeah. And it just works its way up to the final person. Yeah. So it could be like, it could be 30, 20 people, whatever, racing. You're in last place. You're gone. Yeah. Next lap. Last place or last two. You're gone. I love that. Just something like that. Good stuff. That was the some Battle Royale hype. Yeah. And some Resident Evil woo, hype. Woo. Feels good. Yeah. Give uh, me three remake. Let's go. Three remake. Let's go. Where is it? Show us, Capcom. Where is it? Let's Show go. us. Where's the DLC? We need more? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. What's let's taking go. so long? Come on. We need more. More Resident Evil. Yo, Resident Evil shipped 4 million copies. Ooh. Read that today. 4 million copies. Feels Resident good. Evil 2 on fire. Feels good. Capcom crushing it. Uh, Devil May Cry 5 coming out soon. It's, it's just a good time. Yeah. It's, it's a good, good time. time. See you next week.